Honestly, I am a huge fan of pancakes. Who doesn't love pancakes? My preferences have to be homemade pancakes. Today we'll be making some homemade pancakes. Now before this video starts off, sorry for the last video, the McDonald's mukbang. Um, some said it was a rush video. Yes and no, I wanted to make these, but also you guys have been requesting for McDonald's mukbang. So without further ado, let's go cook some today. For this recipe, you just need two eggs, some milk, and also vanilla extract is an optional thing. I don't have that unfortunately right now. Can't forget the braai salt, just to give that a little bit of spicy. Pancakes, yes! Okay, I'll be honest, I was craving pancakes this morning when I woke up. Now, as you know, two days ago we did the McDonald's mukbang. I enjoyed it a lot. It was decent. Interesting seeing your comments. So, today is a Friday, I think. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I just came back from the store, busy. Um, we're going to speak about some really cool stuff in this video. And I uh, hope you'll be doing well. Sorry for the music if it triggered any potential people in the beginning of the video. reason why I did it is, well, it's copyright free. Because they, I think, aren't signed to labels. Nah, Russ Millie is, is independent, I think, so that's always nice for us. Anyways, we've got pancakes, really love them. Now, you could have obviously also added baking soda, but what it does essentially is it rises up the flour, which you don't want. The flour I used is just called tarver meal. Uh, I guess you guys call it in the USA all-purpose flour. It's, what is that supposed to mean? Is it like for everything? It probably is, that says it. Okay, okay. Mmm. Strange enough, I've been feeling better this week. No dizziness. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I, it could even be this sugar-free stuff that may have done it, huh? Hmm. Well, it's my birthday in a couple of days. Um, it's actually my birthday in one, two, three, four days. So the day before, for the 30th, we'll have another Mark Bain. But um, for now, let's go upon a feast. Oh, baking soda adds um, a lot of purpose if you want like fluffy pancakes, but um, I don't want fluffy pancakes, so here we go. Wow, damn. Okay, ain't, ain't gonna lie, man. These taste hella good. Remember a couple weeks ago I made an eating ASMR pancake? People liked it a lot. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I made a small batch. And how I know how to add the amount, if you cook for a while, if you've cooked for a long enough time, you, you understand how measurement works. You don't really need measurements anymore. You can just count in your head like, okay, one, two, okay, we got enough. Or we'll just think how much you need for one person. Mm. Man, this shit is good. Homemade pancakes, yes sir. But I want to speak about something in this video. As you know, I'm a 2000s baby, right? I was just thinking about it. I grew up with the likes of Halo, introduction of Xbox One eventually, right? PS2 we had back in the days. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how generations have developed in better gameplay, etc. You know what I mean? I don't know, man, like playing Halo back in the Xbox One, I think it was. This is like 15 years ago. I used to play when I was five, six years old in my brother's room. I used to sneak in his room when he was either asleep or most of the times at a party. And um, I used to play Halo. Well, the thing was, I was allowed to play Halo regardless. But not GTA San Andreas. For my parents. My brother was like, yeah. That's cool. Because I know back in the days you had these cheat codes. They were very difficult, for me at least. But really cool. I don't know if you still have the cheat codes on the GTA San Andreas, but... Really dope. Really cool. Mm. Wow. The controls are terrible of the PS2 with San Andreas. <laughs> 
the way different in GTA 5 controls or like PlayStation controls because essentially like Xbox back in the days right they were known for having the better games unfortunately just the fact you know Gears of War Black Ops I met a guy through Black Ops I don't know what his username is anymore years and years and years ago pretty cool I used to play a lot with him. I think it was the zombies one with the metro station. It could be any black or some speed map. I don't know which one, but it was with a, it was during daylight. It was like one of those old, old ones, you know. I think it was the one with the Russians in it at the airport. That didn't age well, now did it? But, um... No, really dope, you know what I mean? Like the games back in the days... Really nice. Oh, I actually also worked on the garden yesterday. Had some complaints from the neighbors across last week. I'm like, okay. What the fuck do you want me to do about it? You know what I mean? Triphobia. Oh god, why does it have that? I've almost eaten the whole thing already. Sorry, man. I didn't even realize it was only three pancakes. Thought I'd made four. Oh well. Delicious, though. Mmm. Yeah, salty taste I love it's the bitter salt not like sea salt but I salt way better it costs more I think about I don't give a damn I think it's amazing but no like I said it was it was freaking awesome you know back in the days having like Halo and all these other games Halo was fucking awesome like for one of the first Halo with Master Chief that was dope, man. Well, difficult as hell. Like, I'm a fucking sick short. I don't know how this game works. I'm just messing around, shooting, killing aliens. I can tell you right now, though. I don't, you know, actually, I don't know if they got new Halo games. If any of you know, do they have a Halo games right now? I don't know. What I do know, though, is they've got this series of Master Chief. My brother told me Apparently, in the first episode, he already shows his face, and it's like, what the fuck? That defeats the whole purpose of Mess Chief. Not showing his face, because he's not human. That's all we know. That's the only thing we know about him. And that he's very, very strong, so obviously he's, he's supernatural. Oh, well. I think franchise... I think franchises nowadays just... Fuck, fuck, you know, over the work, that stuff. It's the same with Starbucks. Star <laughs> Starbucks. Star Wars, essentially, for me. I didn't like, and I don't like the previous Star Wars. Because of certain actors. I'm going to say it. I know some of you are going to say, I'm a racist dude. I don't care. I don't know the guy's name. Um, it's not racist. It's got nothing to do with his skin color. All right? We're speaking about, we're going to speak about a black individual. He was the main character, one of the main characters in the Star Wars a couple years ago. I don't know which one. Uh, I didn't like him, man. I think he fucked up the whole movie. And before any of you say, oh, man, you're just saying that because he was black. No, I just didn't like his acting skills. It set it off for me. It didn't feel natural, his acting skills. Like, they just fucking grabbed the random dude from the streets and said, yep, you're going to be in the Star Wars. I feel like was, I feel like we've all got that sometimes. When we're so used to a franchise, we're so used to the characters and people that they portray in, that they just grab an, a, another person to replicate it. It's the same with James Bond. I ain't fucking what you know, James Bond, unless it's Craig Daniels in him. All the old ones. If it ain't Craig in it, I ain't watching him. Like, it feels weird. It feels odd. You know, it's difficult accepting it. It's the same with Ronaldo just leaving United and going to Man City. Oh, you better not do... You know what I mean? Like, it, it, you get what I mean. I didn't like his acting skill, but... I guess I gotta give the, the fucking dude a chance. I mean, shit, he getting paid hella good. I ain't. <laughs> That's the difference, I guess. But then, like, the old Star Wars. I think after certain Star Wars, just like The Walking Dead, for example, they really just milk it out. Like, I don't want to watch no Gardam Obi-Wan Kenobi, bro. I know his whole story. Why would I want to watch a whole movie or series dedicated to him? Come on. If you've watched the old Star Wars, you know everything about them. Didn't Princess Leia pass away a couple years ago? The, you know, yeah. She passed away. Crazy. The syrup is infused in the pancake. 
I mean, there's a lot of actors I don't like. I don't know their names, but it's just like the guy that played the Green Lantern. <laughs> Me and my father cannot stand him. We just don't like him. The Rock is an example as well. Fucking terrible actor. I'm sorry. Awesome guy, but acting wise, I don't think he's great. I'm not saying I can do better. I ain't no actor, man, first of all, so don't do that compare me. I'm a normal citizen. <laughs> like, you know this whole Will Smith thing that happened two months ago or something? Will Smith's acting is freaking underrated. He's acting in, like, um, I Am a Legend. Awesome. It's a shame they've never made a part two. They were going to make a part two. But I don't know, I guess something must have just happened on set or something behind the scenes that they said, yeah, we're not making a part two. Why can't I taste the egg? Surely I mixed it good enough, right? I can't not mix it properly. Better get no salmonella, Christ. <sighs> That's the downside of using egg products and dairy. The diseases you can put in this case. But it's good regulated in the EU, so you can always slip one through. That's weird. Oh, yeah. I did the garden uh, yesterday from 7 till 9 o'clock. Fucking insane how much work it was. Also threw away a bunch of things, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to have to trim a little piece extra today. I don't give a damn if my neighbors don't like it. I don't give a single fuck. I don't care. These, uh, these people wake me up at 8 in the morning sometimes when they're in the garden. Why should I care about them for one t you know, a couple months that I do my garden? And besides, if they complain, the fuck they want me to do? I'm allowed to do this at 10 o'clock at night, but I don't do that. I think that's a bit stupid. Well, says the person who was doing it until 9, but... The reason why I did it late is because yesterday I was busy, fucking, fucking busy. I was busy from 11 uh, in the morning till 7 at night, recording and editing. Just, you know, continuing recording and editing. So I thought I'd just do it today, but I was like, nah, let's just do it tonight before dark. And I did it. It's as good as done. I just have to trim a little bit of hedges. Let's trim an extra little bit so it's like short the grass. I want to have it a little bit shorter and then throw some stuff away and then it's as good as done. Yeah, that basically. Because one, one of the neighbors said, um, or said to my dad and I that it's apparently park regulations having your garden done or clean at least, which I can obviously understand. But I'm like, you haven't fucking seen these other people's garden? I mean, dude, there's rats and food in some of these people's garden. I know he probably doesn't see it because he doesn't go that side, but I do sometimes. I take inspiration from some people's garden and I'm like, fuck, this is hideous. So this is like, nice. <laughs> I've seen some tiny homes for sale, right? Fucking ridiculous. I think um, the highest I've seen... From what I know, a hundred thousand euro, which is about um, ninety-two thousand pounds. I mean, it's fucking huge. It is huge. Don't get it wrong. It's like double the size of my place, or one point five times bigger. Like it's big. Like don't get confused. It's really massive. But it's like, who in the right goddamn mind pays a hundred thousand euro for a place you can't even live in the whole year? That's bullshit. I wouldn't. No. <coughs> Ooh, my bad. I uh, I couldn't do that. Wouldn't do that. Shouldn't do that. That's a waste of fucking money. But like, let's say for example, right, I paid forty thousand for this place. Not even. But let's just you know forty thousand. Like you know, I do the garden. I think this place, if the garden had been done, seventy thousand. It's a lot of money. It's it's fucking. It's ironic because people said months ago, man, ain't no fucking money to be made on plenty homes. I bought this for not even 40 grand. This thing alone is 60,000 now. With a garden, 70,000. 65. I've made my profit basically. That's what they're going for. I, this thing is going 20, 25,000 over normal price. Retail. 
It's now going in resale. It's ridiculous. Stupidity. Because, you know, this was during the corona times. I bought this thing a year and a half ago, right? <laughs> I was just in time to buy it on the price. Because it was also one uh, that had like a kitchen island in the middle, but didn't have this on my TV. Because this is one of the few models as well that has a standing paste already for your TV. Otherwise, you have to put it in a corner like that or, you know, it's just in the way when you look. Yes, sir. And I actually kind of like the TV being a, a bit further away from me. It, it's better for the eyes as well. Because my parents' TV is massive. It's like twice the size of this thing. Yeah. But yeah, that basically, uh, I think I'm going to end this video, man. My throat's actually burning, and it all happened yesterday since I was doing the garden. So I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to edit this video for you guys. And yeah, uh, 30th of May, we've got a mukbang. It, not exactly on my day. I would have fucking loved that, but sorry. Um, but yeah, it's my birthday in a couple of days. I'm going to 20. Um, yeah, insane, man. What, can, what do you want me to say? What do I have on the table here? Oh, I can't show you where I get my food from. <laughs> But yeah, I'm turning 20. Um, another year, another blessing. Very, very cool. I have to turn 20. I mean, I could die before. But I uh, shouldn't die. Should be pretty good. I actually haven't worked out much this week because I was at my parents for four days and from Monday till Thursday. So I thought I watched the final conference league. What a fucking boring match. I was real my final. Final did very good the second half. Good saves, Patricio. And good blocks and defensive from uh, Smalling. But. Um, yeah, Ten Hag has some players he would prefer to sign. He wants a centre back, left back, midfielder, and a striker for this for next season. So he's got there's a lot of talks and speculations around Frankie De Jong. Man, I'd love him, even Ziyech potentially to United. As Chelsea are willing to let him go, but yet you play Jorginho over Ziyech, right? Makes no fucking sense. He's like really. I, you know, I really wonder how the hell Jorginho got number two at Ballon d'Or. What a fucking joke. Or did he get number one? He was definitely top three. Like, bro, what the fuck? Jorginho, that's only because they won Champions League and the European qualifications. Without that, he would have never won it. Because after that, he's, he's I don't think he's a good midfielder at all. You gotta see the comments of the Chelsea fans. They even say he's pretty, pretty overrated. Even neutral fans say, this man's fucking overrated. How did he win the... You know what I mean? Did Messi get number one? Yeah, I think so. What a nonsense that was as well. If Ronaldo don't get it next year, oh, he has to still prove himself. He has to prove himself this season again. Or Benzema Lewa, then I don't know. But yeah, see you guys later, man.